लेंथ ऑफ प्लास्टिक हिंज इन दिस आवर डेली डोज वीडियो ओके सो दिस इज अट इंट्रोशन अबाउट माई सेल्फ यू कैन गो थ्रू दिस ओके नाउ वट इज अ प्लास्टिक हिंज लेंथ Yes. Suppose we have a simply supported beam and with a UDL acting on on it, right? So when you increase the load, what will happen? The bending moment will increase, and bending moment initially will be less than the yield moment. Then when you increase the load, the bending moment will be equal to the yield moment, and then it will be more than the yield moment equal to what? The plastic moment capacity, right? Yes. Now, if you see this particular beam, yes, a plastic hinge is formed at the mid span, right? A plastic hinge is formed at the mid span. Now you see this portion here. The moment is M P. Over here it is M Y. Over here it is M Y. Over here also it is M Y. Yes. So I can say in this plastic hinge. Total plastic hinges. The moment is varying between what the M Y and M P. Yes, and beyond this, it will be less than M Y. So I can say that this zone is the elastoplastic zone. Yes, and the rest zones are what elastic zone. And this zone length is known as what the length of the elastoplast is what the length of the plastic hinge. The length of the plastic hinge. Okay. So first of all, if we are interested to find out the length of plastic hinge for a simply supported beam with a load acting at the center the length of the plastic hinge is given by what it is given by the total length into 1 minus 1 by the shear factor 1 minus 1 by the shear factor now the shear factor it depends on what this sf is what it is your shear factor it depends on the cross section here i have drawn a rectangular cross section the cross section can be circular triangular i section yes so it varies with the cross section yes let us solve a very basic question yes very basic question so this is for a point load acting and suppose i am asking you that a simply support beam is there and a point load is acting at the mid span and if it is rectangular if it is rectangular then what will be the length of the elastic plastic zone or can the length of the plastic hinge the four options are given right the formula i told is what that is equal to the length of the beam into what 1 minus 1 by your shear factor the shear factor for a rectangular beam is how much it is 1.5 or i can say what 3 by 2 yes that makes it what 1 by 3 by 2 is what 2 by 3 yes so 1 minus 2 by 3 is what 1 by 3 i can say this is what l by 3 so right option is what option a right option is what it is option a okay so this was for what this was for a simply support beam yes and then a point load acting if a udl is acting and other cases so all those things are mentioned in our bajus exam prep app you can download the app and you can see more videos like this now i'll give a homework also so simply support beam okay and you uh, concentrated load is acting as yes, point load is acting at the mid span but the cross section is i section if the cross section i section then what will be the length of the plastic zone i'll give you some hints so as we discussed when a point load is acting what is the length of the plastic hinge it is l into 1 minus 1 by shear factor right Yes, this is the formula. Yes, for concentrated load acting at the mid span, right? And the shear factor of I section is what? That is up to you to find out. Okay, so use the shear factor of I section. I'll not give. Yes, you should know, right? Use that and then solve this question and mention your answer in the comment section. Thank you very much. See you some other video.